friends, it's Deb. I am doing the March update for the Same Pan Last Year Project Pan. This was created by my friend Shelly, unapologetically Shelly, for the Fantastic Ladies Group. I will have the information linked below. It's a year-long project, started on the 8th of January and will end on the 8th of December. Updates on or around the 8th of the month. And social media hashtag is same same pan last year pp and the project is for your neglected items things from previous years so try to not use new things in here and i have not followed that rule which i'm sorry shelly you know what though shelly is the most laid-back person for a project so i know she doesn't mind so i have started off in the intro, I did prompts one through eight. Did I do one through eight? I think I did. So I did the prompts for January, February, and March. And then in February's update, I rolled in the prompts for April. In this update, I will roll in the prompts for May. So Shelly has created a year long project that goes in the order that holidays fall in the US and yeah, please go watch her intro for the information on this one. I would love to explain it to you, but I do not have that in me today. <laughs> so for prompt number one, New Year's Day, January 1st, choose a new item in your collection. I brought in the Essence Contouring Duo Palette. I wanted to use it 14 times and I actually used it 17. I really enjoy this. I like the actual contour shade for contouring my nose and then I use the lighter shade to blend it out. I will never, because I'm so fair, I will never find a contour shade that is perfectly neutral enough for me without, they will always look a little bit orange on me and some of that is my skill level too. I'm still not great at nose contouring so it always looks a little orange and harsh. But of all of the contouring powders that I've tried, this one by far is my favorite, and I think this kit was on sale for maybe $3. Absolutely worth it. But this one is done for this for this project, I guess. I meant to say it's rolling out, but that didn't, okay, anyway. Uh, prompt number two, Chinese New Year, January 22nd. Pick an item related to a zodiac animal. I chose the dragon. I have the dragon's blood cleansing water from Rodile, Rodial, however you say it. I want to finish this and I've used it 16 times and maybe you can see the line where we're at. This is lovely but I feel like I use quite a lot of this when I take my makeup off with this. It's okay if I'm just you know using it for swatches or cleaning up under my eyes when I'm doing makeup but to actually remove my makeup I use a lot. Anyway that stays in. Number three Black History Month, which was February. Choose a product from a black owned makeup brand. I have brought in the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I have mine in LN3. I think this is the exact same one that Amy just tried. I had it in here for five uses. I got my five uses and this is decluttered. I have my little declutter tag on here. It did not matter what I did to prep my skin. This looked terrible. I have, I would say combo skin, but my skin like on my cheeks is completely normal. I just tend to get maybe a little bit oily through my T-zone and a little bit maybe dry right here by my nose, but my actual face skin is normal. This sat horribly and I did all of my normal prep like my SPF moisturizer, my Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base, it did not matter what I did. This looked like trash. This is going, I hate it. Number five, Valentine's Day, February 14th. Item that is red, pink, heart-shaped, or love-themed. I have the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Love Drug. Want to use it 14 times, and I'm currently at use number six. I'll give you a swatch. This is a really pretty color. I hope you can see that. Anyway, uh, 14 left? I think it's 14 left. Number six, Women's History Month. That's this month, March. Anything from a female-owned brand. 
I had this sitting in my collection and I'd been wanting to try it. It's the Fenty Beauty Cream Balm in Candy Milk. I don't love these. I've tried some of the gloss bombs and now this cream one. I don't hate it by any means. I just, these would not be on my repurchase list. I want to use this 14 times and I have used it 10 so I have four left I have written down nine but I just used it an extra time today so anyway uh, four left and then this will roll out uh, it's okay but it's not great something that is great is number seven spring a spring palette or item you got last spring this is the YC collection cream blush in watermelon oh so freaking pretty I wanted to use it 14 times and today was my 14th use. Swatch it right there. Oh my goodness. So, so, so pretty. I am so happy that I ended up recluttering these. Uh, oh my gosh. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've ever got from BoxyCharm out of all the years that I had it. Love. That rolls out. I remember to bring this product this time for number eight St. Patrick's Day March 17th a green item or a leprechaun item pot of gold or small well pot of gold small uh worth its weight in gold is the grande brow brow serum I have this in to finish I didn't take weights I have no idea uh it's been in here January February and I think I opened this one perhaps maybe in December. So this one could be done by the next update. If not, then the next one for sure. But this is Holy Grail, have repurchased. I'm going to do the next two together even though they're not side-by-side -side prompts. Just let me explain. Number nine is April Fool's Day, April 1st, an item you feel like a fool for buying. The Honest Beauty Tinted Lip Balm and Plum Drop. Last year or the year before, I had this in clear and I thought it was ridiculous. It was like called like white nectarine or white peach or something, but it was the clear one. I hated the formula and I thought it was just, it was pointless, pointless. Like it wasn't hydrating. It, it just, okay. I hate panned it, but I finished it. And I always said that if I had the opportunity to try this formula again, in an actual colored one, I would try to see if maybe the formula was better, you know, f being tinted. Okay. The next prompt that I want to talk about is number 11, Earth Day, April 22nd, an eco-friendly item, clean beauty, etc. This is Burt's Bees Gloss and Glow in Wine Wednesday. So these two, I randomly found out, are dupes for the Clinique... Is it the almost, is it called an almost lipstick in <laughs> Black Honey? Is that what it's called? I just totally lost my train of thought. I think it's Black Honey, which I do not have. And I've been wanting to try that again for a long time. So when I had two dupes in my collection, I wanted to try them both. So I rolled both of these in to this project last time to use 10 times each. And I have done that. My thoughts on these. The Honest Beauty one. The formula as a tinted balm makes a lot more sense because this one doesn't move a lot. But even being tinted, it's very sheer and not a lot of color payoff. So when I compare that one to the Burt's Bees one, which by the way smells delicious, the Burt's Bees one just puts off a lot more pigment. It did slip around more, but if you want a dupe for Clinique, what's it called? Black Honey? Do the Burt's Bees Gloss and Glow in Wine Wednesday. That's my verdict out of these two. Give the pass to the Tinted Balms from Honest Beauty. Meh. Anyway, both of those are rolling out. In the middle of those two was number 10. Easter, April 9th, a pastel item. I rolled in the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream in this little lavender jar. This is lovely, holy moly, but the jar is super weird. So when you close it, I don't care if you 
like I opened it, I didn't even take any out, but it smears out the edges. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's messy. Anyway. Oh, it drives me crazy. Can you, will you be able to see? Probably not. Okay. I've used probably four, 40% of this. Oh my gosh. It drives me bonkers. Okay, that stays in. Number 12, National Makeup Day, which is April 26th. Any makeup item that you want to celebrate. I brought in the Urban Decay and Robin Eisenberg liner in Lunar Landing. Absolutely freaking love this. On me, this color is not an exact dupe for Prance. But on me, when I wear this, it gives me the exact same vibe. And I would much rather use an Urban Decay liner over a ColourPop liner. So, so happy to have this one. I want to use it five times and today was use number four. This will stay in for one more use. And then I'm rolling in the three prompts for May, which are 13, 14, and 15. Number 13, April showers bring May flowers, an item related to flowers in any way, packaging, name, or scent. I'm going to bring in this eye cream from Clay de Poe. I was sent this to test from Buzz Agent. And this is, this is a bougie boo one. I'm not even joking you. Let me show you. So it has this little base that the cream sets on and then it has this little thing that sits on here and then this is what you use to like rub in the, okay, $280. Bonkers, but it is lovely. In here, this has a rare iris florentina extract. So that's where my floral is coming from. And I also need to be testing this. So, oh my word. And this, it's stunning. Normally I don't get like really uh, like hyped about overpriced products. Like I can just be like, oh, it's overpriced, whatever. This one like makes me want to look into how to sell a kidney so I can repurchase it. Just saying. Okay. Anyway, that is going to be in just for me to test. I don't really have a time limit on it. Um, uh, we'll just update it as I feel necessary. Number 14, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Use a five pan palette five times. I went through my Natasha Denona five pan palettes and this one just spoke to me. It is the five pan palette, palette number 10. It's kind of these pretty purples. And I figured some of these would work with my focus palette, which is the Norvina for this year. So excited to use this. And last but not least is number 15, Mother's Day, May 14th. If you are a mother, <laughs> this prompt is so freaking cute and inclusive. If you are a mother, stepmother, pet mom, plant mom, or ever had a mom, <laughs> pick an item of your choice. So if I had to pick one item from my entire collection, just, oh, you know, if I just had <laughs> the choice just to pick anything I wanted, uh, why wouldn't it be a Too Faced pillow balm in the original formula? Uh, I am working on three others right now, but this one's the original. It does have use in it even though this has not ever been in a project, but it's my favorite. So I'm going to pull this one in to finish. Because let's see, I am a stepmom, I'm a pet mom, I'm a plant mom, I have a mom, and yeah. And I always wanted to be a mom, so that to me that counts right there okay so that is what's happening this time so we rolled out the contra palette the lys foundation the cream blush and the two lip balms that were the dupes for black honey and we are rolling in the clay de Poe eye cream the natasha denona five pan palette and the pillow balm all right thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time please like comment and subscribe i hope you're having a really good day or night and i love you Actually, with a K, A K T C H E W E L 
i.e. actually. Hold oh, please. The last few weeks I've been dealing with sinus somethings of the unknown and the amount of sniffles that I've had to edit out of my videos is ridiculous and I still miss some and I'm so 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 freaking sorry but if I can cut them out like if there's a space where I can like cut it and I do but sometimes I don't know how I do it but it's almost like I sniff and talk at the same time like it's a special talent that I've learned that I have I hope you what